like, comment, subscribe. Follow me. Is this really what it's all come down to? If you're watching this on your phone, turn it off and come back later when your screen is a bit bigger than a matchbox. If we're going to do this, we may as well do it right in order to do it all justice. Here's a question. Why do you get on your bike, click into your skis, or strap into a snowboard? Is it for wind in your face, air under your feet? Or is it to get the likes, the comments, the shares, so that your internet karma skyrockets? Lately, it feels like this is the main reason driving many people to get out there. Back in the day, this wasn't the case. So where did it go wrong? Perhaps it didn't go wrong. We're just being cynical about it all. Technology just allowed us the means to take the shared experiences to a new level. And we probably went a bit too far with it. Really, it was, and still is, about just doing cool shit with other humans. To give you a little context, this film is about a certain breed of humans that some call action sports athletes. Yes, that's a job title these days. They travel around the world doing ridiculous stunts. Quite often they compete against each other, with judges giving them scores. This little film here is not about that. This little film looks at what happens when judging and scoring these professional athletes is not prioritized. This is what happens when they help design a supersized playground to do whatever they want with. And what happens when a narrator rambles on pseudo-philosophically about it all. Well, I mean, I think it looks as good as it rides, so good. It is insane. It's like a, it's like a Picasso, is that how you say it? Picasso art piece. It's like beautiful. It's outer space. <laughs> It's not real life. In an alternate universe, that feels good. They may appear young and reckless, but somehow it's kind of mesmerizing. It's almost an ignorance is bliss kind of scenario. Perhaps this ignorance of the consequences helps these humans make very difficult things look like the easiest thing in the world. lifting themselves off jumps bigger than houses, with style flowing from their toes to their fingertips. There is something special about getting up early in the morning. When the light is golden and the cameras are rolling, a chance to create something special, a chance to prove yourself. Or we can skip the bullshit and tell you the truth. That it's just really fun and it feels really good. Here you guys. 
So it's so good just to come along and ride with the boys, you know, like there's not really any pressure. The only pressure you put on is yourself to do something hammer or to get a good shot. And that's when the, the creativity and the, and the riding flows, eh? You get jacked up, you see someone else do something good and you're like, hell yeah, I want some of that. Let's get something straight here. Yeah, these athletes may talk nonchalantly about their shenanigans, but to many, they appear almost superhuman. Yeah, they can do pretty rad things, but they're also the same as any of us. A bag of meat and bones with blood pumping about. Sure, they've got their talents, but they've also got to eat, they've got to drink, they take shits, and they eat shit. They're humans, after all. the boundary between sport and art simply starts to blur. The multiple bodies work together to create something different and perhaps beautiful. I mean, the reality is, you could not ask for a better first session. We come out here, everybody looked at the feature, said, okay, things look good. Why don't we just start chucking quad courts and triple courts and flippy spinnies all over the place, hitting all the transitions, all the different features. Uh, the vibe is high, as you can tell by the excitement in my voice. I'm a generally reserved guy, but I'll tell you, today is a banger, and it's going to be a banger all week long. Like there's a moment where your mind just goes into autopilot. So you don't even let yourself be afraid because you're like, this is, this is nuts. This is beyond crazy. <laughs> setting a new world record today. And then I just kept stepping it up one, one run at a time, going as fast as I could, and just kept getting more and more comfortable. Tell us! Tell us! Yeah! All right, that was fun. That's the needle.
like that. Just like that. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go higher. That's nuts. Icarus, the Wright brothers, Neil Armstrong, and the oft-forgotten Michael Collins. They all had an immense ambition to fly. And it looks like these humans do too. We're having a mega hip in front of us. And this thing is massive. It's the biggest thing I've, I'm gonna ever hit. I'm wondering how high we can get to the moon. I mean, it's over 10 meters tall. I mean, it's massive. It's just killing bikes and kill people. Like, give it respect, so yeah, a lot of respect. And try and stay straight on it and not carve. If you carve, you miss the whole thing and then for sure you're dead. <laughs> Okay, man. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I went a bit left. Look at the hole you in there. Is this your head? I think that we handle well. <laughs> oh, pretty, pretty scary still. Yeah. I've got a lot of respect for it. But uh, yeah, the session just started, so let's see where it will end up. <laughs> exactly right. You have to have respect for it. Like yeah, one I have big time respect tiny for little it. move wrong, and that was cool. Nice. Like when I was up here, I was like, oh, sick. That's big. But then when I came down, I was like, this is a motocross feature. Oh, that's hard. Oh, Definitely an experiment. This hip, we we borrowed the design from some ski snowboard guys, and uh, yeah, we tried to copy their measurements, and uh, it sucks to crash if you get it right, but uh, if you land it, it's such a feeling. Why wouldn't you want to go that high on a mountain bike? Why are you get into riding bikes, and why you start doing jumps to see how high you can go and how far you can go, and you don't get to go much higher or further than on that monster. So yeah, just full speed pull up, see how far you go. That's pretty sick. nothing else to scale of that big in mountain biking so yeah it's more like a ski jump than a bike jump but it works absolutely perfectly I think I got to about seven meters above the takeoff it's like jumping out of a five-story building I think <laughs>
Sick. First one to do it, no? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Are you tell me? Woo! Dude, perfect, no <laughs> doubt, huh? Woo! Yeah. Yo, yo, yo! Yes, dude. Yes! Hi. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I just landed a double flip on dirt. So stoked right now. Woo! <laughs> Adrenaline levels are high right now. The humans we are observing here are partaking in a weird hybrid between an individual sport and a team sport. On one hand, there's an integral sense of camaraderie when riding with a crew, amping each other up and learning from each other. But when flying through the air, one is most definitely alone up there. At the end of the day, no one's forcing them to ride these features. They're making individual choices, whether questionable or not. Also, do these look like the kind of people who respond well to being told what to do and how to do it? Although the people doing these things probably won't get this deep about it, activities like this are a form of universal expression. A human charging down a slope or flying through the air communicates to pretty much anyone. It doesn't matter what language you speak. And the beauty, or lack of, depends on who's doing the looking. This is a very pure form of expression, because the bottom line is this. Even if the cameras weren't rolling, these people will still be doing this stuff just for the sake of doing it. When you're skiing, biking, snowboarding or whatever, you're putting on a performance, an expression of yourself. It's recognized by many almost intuitively and quite often will release involuntary, spontaneous, audible reactions. First, I wasn't sure if it's gonna work. I think we've reached a certain point. Yeah. Right? And not knowing if it's gonna work is part of the thrill of it all. The uncertainty is part of what makes it fun. They're just humans after all. Just like me and you. Perhaps a little different. You know what I mean? It works, and it's mad fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe this group of humans are a little more resilient than the average Joe. Clear. Three, two, one. Take off. That was first hit front foot. Grew up watching this event, so to be here and actually hitting the features is a dream come true, and, and to be able to watch everyone throw down is just like that like next level. <laughs> If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up and be a gold winner. Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings, one in a million, the billions of half the same. If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up and be a gold winner. Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings, one in a million, the billions of half the same. When only all I know, see, where you're standing the day I know who you're doing me. Jook left, jook right, I'm number 23. Every day of my life, the win is all I see. Train harder than most, it's more than a dream, this is reality. Uh. I was born to be king, break the sweat from my soul as I resound in and let it go with the form of a javelin throw. Come on, uh. stay on my head to be dope. Let's wrap my hands up tighter than the rap that he wrote. Then let it float like a butterfly right to your throat. Think it's a joke till you tenderize. Beat you up so bad, your friends are ass, which way did he go? Hard to recognize, holding like the face of a ghost. I'm blazing your boat, don't think you gon' be staying afloat. The waves on the coast claiming you on your way to the ropes, so let's go. Come on. If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up and be a cold killer. Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings. One in a million, the billions of half If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up and be a cold killer. 
blood, sweat, and tears written in the blacks and kings. One in a million, the billions of happiness. I've been a champion for all of my life. As the young and the medals, more than something I like. I would always look for challenges, the sorcerer's type. Always wear the hazard is, that fuck, so when the Japanese brought up with the savages, I had to win. Thought about the war long before they brought the battle in. Hashtag warrior, what he channeling? Pick up the ball, then I'ma slam it in. What do you call what's really happening? Slap it with the bat in hand. Full house, now bring it back again. Oh, you lost, get back to hassling. Uh, hustling hard to get back to the front. Reach for the stars until the day you catching them up. But you ain't never gonna catch me, son. You can call me the immaculate one. Foot the track and get done. Supersonic, I'm a comic. Short the black of the sun. It's not back to the one. I was born to be a winner, winner. I'ma grow up to be a go-getter Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings One in a million, the billions of happiness If I was born to be a winner, you didn't know I'ma grow up to be a go-getter Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings One in a million, the billions of happiness If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up to be a go-getter Blood, sweat, and tears written in the plaques of kings One in a million, the billions of happiness If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up to be a go-getter. Blood, sweat, and tears written in the blacks of kings. One in a million, the billions of happiness. There is no quit. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe this happened. Extreme, yeah. action sports, adrenaline, <laughs> style. Buzzwords tied in various ways to generation X, Y, Z, or whatever. Used by those that seek to capitalize on the subcultures built upon what they represent, of which we're all probably guilty of. to it than the superficial short-term hype that you swipe through on your feed? Is there more to it all than rad, awesome, sick and yeah dude? There must be something quite important ingrained in all humans inclined to pursue these intangible goals, tied to things like speed, transition and flight. Something that makes the time, sweat and pain all worth it. Something where nothing else compares, where there's nothing else quite like it. Quite possibly, it's more than just one thing. Of course it fucking is. It's just really hard to describe. And these things are great precisely because they can't be described. They defy description. Words attempt to anchor and bind and explain, and that just doesn't work here. It's not enough. Definition and solid meaning are the opposite of these feelings. You're trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. The thing that makes these activities so intoxicating is the same reason that they can't be described. You can point at it and say, look, that's snowboarding or skiing or biking, but that's about as far as words will get you. You either know or you don't. And if you don't, well, you should probably get out there yourself. Oh, fuck that last line. There was a good one before, right? Is that all right? We take that one? Can I go now? <laughs> This isn't my job. I'm a photographer. 